This is a letter to you. For the longest time, you felt alone, though you were rarely ever alone. Ironically, you're not alone in that. Alone doesn't always mean lonely, just as lonely doesn't always mean alone, right? External pressures designed to evoke that so familiar sense of dread that we're meant to gravitate toward one another, forever locked in a loop of attraction and repulsion, the push of lust, the pull of disgust, patiently awaiting the next shock. You chase noise, you fear quiet, then lash out when you find static. Watching the pitfalls of others without looking at your own two feet. Realizing too late that you've been sinking inside out. Grabbing at hands you struggle to even recognize. In is now out. Down has become up. Reaching for but never grasping. Drowning just to stay afloat. But it's okay. You're okay. But you lie. You cheat. And you steal from yourself. Manifesting alteration through rhetorical lactations. Are you okay? Is it okay? You've never been very kind to yourself. When was the last time you told someone you loved them? Even now you struggle with that. Did you ever mean it? Somewhere in there exists an image you want brought to reality. Was there ever a point? There's opportunity and feeling. That endless potential for change and creation. Challenge loneliness. Practice self-acceptance. Create change and do for you what no one else can. Be your advisor, your voice of reason, your best friend. Self-confidence is a coin toss from self-hatred, so allow yourself the gift of acceptance. Let go of what was never yours to control. It's okay to be alone. Create the world you need for yourself now. Enjoy your heart again. For you. But don't be afraid to let a few people in now and then. And always remember, fixation upon correlation and causation may as well be masturbation. Take care of yourself. I love you.